Next, in this chapter, we look into IPv6 address configuration. So let's look into uh, the definition of the host and the router in the IPv6. The unicast IPv6 address and multicast address of host and router are typical as follow. So we have a host. So this is a link local address. You can see that this is a FE80 followed by the 64 bit. Then we have a global unique address assigned by administrator. So in this example, it's using 2000 colon colon one, uh, 2001 colon colon one. Then we also have a loopback address, which is colon colon one. We have a multicast address. In this case, it's FF01 colon colon one or FF02 colon colon one. And we also have a solicited node a multicast address corresponding to each unicast address on the network. So for example, in this case, you can see that the last 24 bit, you can see here FF021 FF35. This is the 35 here, 7287. And we also have FF01 FF001. So this is the multicast address. So let's look into the IPv6 on a router. So again, we also have a link local on the network adapter. So FE80, okay. Then we also have a global uh, unique address. So again, so we have a 2001 colon colon two. Loop address is the same. So then we also have a multicast address. We have the FF01 and FF02 that's corresponding to the scope and the multicast scope here. So this is for the router okay and this is a multicast router multicast address of the router and we also have solicited node as well so they are quite similar uh, between the host and the router so let's look into the service process of ipv6 unicast address before sending ipv6 packet and interface undergo address configuration here we are going to configure it either based on the manual configuration or using a uh, stateless or stateful then it go through the duplicate address detection and address resolution so there are three processes they need to go through so these are the number one here which is the uh, address configuration then number two, they go through the duplicate address detection. And number three, there is the uh, address resolution. So let's look into it one by one. Now this is a very important slide. First, global unique address and link local address are the most common IPv6 unicast address on the interface. Multiple IPv6 address can be configured on one interface. In IPv4, normally we just configure one IP address, although you still can configure secondary address, but in IPv6, it's very common to have multiple address on one single interface. So we have address configuration. So how do we assign the global unique address? We can have uh, three methods. The first method is using manual configuration. You type in the IP address manually. Next, you can use a Slack or network discovery protocol. This is using a stateless address configuration. And lastly, we can use a stateful uh, address auto configuration, which is using uh, DHCP v6. So this is for address configuration. For link local address, we also have three ways to configure it. Either we can use a manual configuration. It can be auto generated by the system, or you can use the EUI 64. So on the second step, we have the duplicate address detection. So DAD is similar to gratuitous out in IPv4 and is used to detect address conflict. So remember in IPv4, we use a gratuitous out. In IPv6, we do not have any ARP. So this is where we use a duplicate address detection. Uh, if you remember, I just mentioned on the solicited node address. This is how we use the solicited node to perform DAD. Lastly, we use address resolution. So this is where we are performing ARP. So similar to ARP requests on IPv4, IPv6 ICMP message are used to generate a mapping between IPv6 address to the data link. If you remember, I mentioned that this is a solicited node address before we actually can do the data forwarding. So these are the three processes on the unicast address. Now we look into NDP. NDP is also called Network Discovery Protocol. So NTP is defined in RFC 2461, which is replaced by RFC 4861. So uh, this is the uh, later RFC that has superseded the 2461. NTP use ICMP v6. This is important. ICMP v6 messages to implement its function. Here you can see we have the ICMP v6 type. So some of the type here include uh, ICMP 
type 133, 134, 135 and 136. This ICMP V6 have a lot of function and NTP allow you to perform the stateless address auto configuration, the duplicate address detection, address resolution which is similar to ARP. So just now I also mentioned that Slack is basically allow you to do a prefix advertisement. If you remember Slack is the uh, similar to DHCP but this is a stateless. This is uh, important features of IPv6. So let's look into more detail. The network discovery protocol using ICMP v6 have this uh, type. So we have RS which stands for router solicitation. Uh, type 134 is a router advertisement. If we look into prefix advertisement here, this is where we use for uh, SLAAC which is a stateless address auto configuration which in this case we are using 133 and 134 which is a router solicitation and router advertisement. This is where I want to get the IP address from the router and the router give the router advertisement and uh, this router advertisement have the prefix advertisement. You remember earlier on I mentioned about the uh, address resolution. This is where IPv4 we are using ARP. Here in IPv6 we do not have ARP but we are using a uh, solicited node multicast. They are using the ICMP type 135 and 136 which is a neighbor solicitation and a neighbor advertisement. We also use that for DAD which is a duplicate address detection. Right? So this is the ICMP v6. I'm going to show you the packet capture later on on IPv6. Now let's look into dynamic IPv6 address configuration. In this slide, we are going to do comparison between IPv6 using a stateful address configuration and compared to stateless address configuration. So on the stateful address configuration, you can see we are using a full DHCP v6 uh, server. So this is a v6 server. So through DHCP v6 message exchange, the DHCP v6 server automatically configure IPv6 address, prefix and other network configuration parameters such as DNS, network information system, NIS, and SNTP, Simple Network Time Protocol Server Address. So you do need to have a DHCP uh, v6 and they are using the DHCP v6 message. Now let's look into Slack or stateless address configuration. In the same configuration, you can see I have a PC and this PC is going to do a router solicitation. And when the router detect the router solicitation is going to send a router advertisement. So here we have 2000 colon colon one. So what the PC will do here is they are going to append the 2000 network with the EUI64, this is the part here, the FFFE followed by the address append to the IPv6. So let's look into the mechanic here. The PC generate a unicast address based on address prefix in the router advertisement and locally generate 64-bit ID. So in this case, this is the address that self-generate. So only IPv6 address can be obtained. Parameters such as NIS, SNTP server parameter cannot be obtained. So this is the main difference between the uh, stateless address configuration as compared to the stateful. In stateful, you can have additional parameter, whereas using a stateless, you can't. So that is the main difference. But if you can see here, the stateless, I can just use a router, whereas if I'm using a stateful, I need to configure a DHCP v6. Now let's look into DAD or duplicate address detection. Regardless on how IPv6 unicast address is configured, regardless is a host or router, it will perform a DAD through ICMP v6 messages. Uses a unicast address only when passing the DAD. So which means that if they detected that there is a duplication, so it will send you a pop-up saying that IP is conflict. So let's look into the mechanic on how this works. First, you can see we have the uh, PC uh, is online. It's going to use an IP address of 2001 FF ff slash 64. This is a MAC address of this uh, PC. So the first step here is going to send an ICMP v6 neighbor solicitation. So let's look into the content on layer 2 and layer 3. On layer 2 source, you can see that it's using 5489 uh, 98C81111 which corresponding to the MAC address of the PC and you can see that this is a destination 3333FF00 FFFF. So where is this destination of layer 2 come from? Actually it's come from the layer 3 of this IPv6. As you can see that I want to do the DAD so the source is colon colon and the destination is a solicited multicast node. So we have FF021 
then followed by FF00 FFFF. So this is where the FF00 FFFF come from. So it mapped the layer 3 to a layer 2 a MAC address. As you can see that on the ICMP, we have ICMP v6 type 135 neighbor solicitation and the target is 2001 colon colon FFFF. So it's going to send using ICMP v6 to the multicast node. So multicast node reach to the router and assuming that the router also using the same IP address as you can see that these two IP address are conflict. So the router upon receive this IP address is going to send an ICMP v6 neighbor advertisement. So it's going to send its own source MAC address followed by the destination of 333-000-0001 which is a mapping of a layer 3 FF02 colon colon 1 so this is a solicited multicast node with its own source so this time I'm going to send on using ICMP v6 type 136 neighbor advertisement with a target of uh, 2001 FFFF which is the uh, router own IP address as well as the MAC address of the router. Now this information, when it reached to the PC, the PC will indicate that there is a uh, duplicate IPv6 address. So it will reject the PC from using this IPv6. So this is how the mechanic of DAD use. So the key point here is that it's using the ICMP v6, NS and uh, NA. Now next we look into address resolution. Uh, remember that in IPv6 we do not have ARP, but we still need to map the layer 3 to layer 2. So since that ARP is not available, this is how uh, address resolution work in IPv6. IPv6 using ICMP v6 NS and NA messages to replace the address resolution function of ARP in IPv4. So let's look into this example. I have IPv6 of 2001 colon colon 1 slash 64 and this is a MAC address of the PC and we also have the router which is 2001 colon colon 2 so this time uh, this address is unique so there will be no conflict and this is my MAC address which is 2222 so how the uh, address resolution work in IPv6 so the PC want to know where is the MAC address of 2001 colon 2001 colon colon 2 slash 64 so first the pc is going to send icmp uh, v6 type 165 which contain the source MAC address and the destination so again the destination is a layer 2 MAC address that is being mapped from layer 3 uh, multicast right so you can see that this is my source and this is my destination so they are using the type 135 uh, neighbor solicitation. This is a solicited multicast node. So I have an ICMP v6 data, the source MAC address, which is here. And this information arrived to router here. And the router is going to respond using type 136, neighbor advertisement. So when it reply, it's going to reply using its own source and the destination. So as you can see that the destination here is a unicast because when this information is being sent to R1, R1 already know where is the MAC address of PC. So it will send back using the PC MAC address. So here I have my own source and the destination. So this information also being sent. So the MAC address will be recorded in the cache of R1. And when this information is being sent to PC, PC will also receive the MAC address of uh, router 1. So this is how the address resolution works. And remember that they're also using the type 135 NS and type 136 NA in the IPv6.